I'm delighted that uh, we at Thorn Apple are going to set aside some time to take a look at the terrible story unfolding in Israel and Palestine today. As everyone knows, there has been a dreadfully violent conflict in Gaza. In addition, um, there is the threat of violence on the Lebanese border in the north. And of course, Iran is lurking in the background with all of this. So you and I, as Christians living in America, we find ourselves uh, deeply invested in all of these things. Uh, American evangelicals uh, across the nation have been giving wide public and financial support to the conflicts that are in Israel and Palestine, and they have weighed in quite publicly on the side of Israel. But in addition, we are Americans, and our country is complicit in all of this. Uh, the United States is really funding so much of what Israel is doing in Gaza. You and I need to be aware of what is going on there. Why would we talk about this inside of the church? Um, we would and we should, because you and I want to be members of Christ's kingdom who bring his values of justice and goodness and truth uh, to all matters of life. And in this case, um, I think we have some real concerns about what's transpiring today in Israel and Palestine. What I hope to do is give some context for what happened on October 7th, 2023. But with every explanation, there's always a backstory. And so I also want to give the backstory of why this happened and uh, perhaps uh, how we might uh, get out of this particular situation. Um, it is a devastating story. 41,000 people have now been killed in Gaza. Um, 90,000 have been uh, injured seriously, and there's no medical infrastructure now to really take care of them. So um, I hope you'll join us. I think it'll be a very uh, a difficult but uh, courageous uh, conversation that we're going to have together. But if I know anything about Thornapple, I know that um, uh, this community has got the kind of courage and fortitude to uh, open up these kinds of conversations um, and do that prop profitably. Um, I'm looking forward to joining you.